Okay, we're on number seven. I'll go to the whiteboard to do it. Let me see if I can pull a whiteboard up for you. Expand this out. And number seven, let's write it down. Okay, number seven, they're telling me they have a, um, they want to compute a surface area, and they have y equals, <coughs> that's nine, minus x to the two-thirds, and this being raised to the three-halves. Right, they wanted about the x-axis. And they want it between eight and 27. Okay, you certainly can draw a picture if you want. I don't think it's going to be that helpful. But what I want to do is um, start writing down a derivative. So dy dx. And that's going to be 3 halves. 9 minus x to the 2 thirds. I need to reduce the exponent by 1. So it's going to be 1 half. Times the derivative of the inside. Which is going to be minus 2 thirds x, reduce that by 1, you can get minus 1 third. All right, I'm going to simplify it a tiny, tiny bit, dy dx, and I'm going to write it down as, uh, let's see, 9 minus x to the 2 thirds to the 1 half power. I'm going to write x to the 1 third in the bottom. Let me just carefully look at that. And I see a minus sign, I'll put that over there. The three cancels, two cancels. So what do I need to do now? I guess I need to square that, right? So when you square that, dy, dx, when you square that, what do you get? Well, you get 9 minus x to the 2 thirds over x to the 2 thirds. I'm going to re uh, reduce that a little bit. And that's going to be, uh, let's see, 9x to the minus 2 thirds minus 1. What I have to do now, add 1 to that. Looks relatively simple. What do you get? You get 9x to the minus 2 thirds. All right. So I, I think I'm ready to write the integration down. And the integration um, is going to be 2 pi. And then i got to be concerned about what the radius is going to be. And just remind you, you're probably about the x-axis. So the radius is actually y. And what's y? Well, it's up there. It's 9 minus 2 thirds, 3 halves, times this, uh, the root of uh, this thing over here. Let me write that down for you. So the root of that is actually 3. Oh, by the way, before I say anything, it's between 8 and 27. All right, I don't have to worry about the root at this uh, on that interval, by the way. So it's going to be 3, and then um, it's going to be x to the minus 1 third. All right, got to do that integration. I'm going to pull the number out. That gives me 6 pi. I point out what we did over here. We pulled out the number. I'm left off with, um, let's see, 9 minus x to the 2 thirds to the 3 halves, x to the minus 1 third, dx, between 8 and 27. Well, looking at it, I'm going to make a u substitution now. I'm going to let u equal 9 minus x to the 2 thirds. And what do you get there? Let's take a look at this. Before I go on, let me just put an equal sign over here equals 6 pi. Well, before I do that, I should put the u down for you. What's going to be minus 2 thirds x <coughs> minus 1 third dx? Let's do the limits of integration. When x is 8, the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4, and 9 minus 4 is 5. Well, let's do 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. 3 squared is... Um, 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. All right? So the number's are working out okay. And then I get u to the 3 halves. And then I get this, um, this you know, uh, let me outline what I'm getting. I'm getting this over here. Whoops, sorry about that. I'm getting this thing over here. I'm seeing that. What's that going to be? Minus 3 halves of a du.
All right, I think I'm ready to do this. I'm going to pull the, the constant out again. And uh, since it's negative, I'm going to reverse the, um, the limits of integration from 0 to 5. So that's going to be what? It's going to be 9 pi u to the 3 halves du. I'm ready to do the integration now. 9 pi u, increase it by 1, that's 5 halves. And then um, I have to, uh, what do I have to do here? I have to divide by 5 halves or multiply by 2 fifths. Limit to integration go from 0 to 5. Let's write that down. You're going to get 18 pi over 5. And i got to evaluate this. I want to say 5 halves is really 2 and a half. So what do I get? I get 5 squared root 5. And the 0 just evaluates the 0, which makes it kind of easy. Looking at this, you know, going through it, I'm going to put 18 pi. One of the 5s cancels off, so I get 5 root 5. What does that give you? Well, 50 and 40, which is 90. All right, so, you know... I can't say enough times when you get to the end of it. I mean, you, I, I did a lot of work, talked through it, certainly. Uh, I, I'd be kind of interested that I get the right answer. And this is why it's so nice to have an answer key. A lot of times when you're given problem sets, you're not given an answer key. But I'm really kind of looking for this in the answer key. Let me just wake my computer up and look at it. And yeah, we'll say 90 pi divided by 5. Thank you.